Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon. Uh, last time we took a bit of a detour to deal with the Magician Faust, and we dealt with him, so that's good. And now, I'm headed all the way back to the Death City Mayfill, where we're going to go through that shiny portal thing, and possibly finish the game today? I don't know. I have no idea how much is after going through the portal. But Rose said we can't go back after this, so... We're getting very close to the end here. Anyway, I'll see you when I get back there. Oh! Oh, Dr Mare's Dragoon level. Nice. Blue Sea Dragon. Alright, I've made it back over here. Now, I have no idea what kind of enemies we're gonna be fighting. So I'm just going to go in with my favorite party of Albert and Miranda. That should get, that should cover my bases pretty well. And also, I took a pit stop in Lohan and bought a second uh, legend cask because that worked out for us really well in the fight against Faust. So I'm just gonna give that to my two party members here so they can have a good time. Or actually, what does the magical hat do again? Maximum MP. That's pretty good. But, you know. Um. Yeah, no, she can have that. Okay. Okay, we should be good. I think so. I'm going to save again real quick. And I guess it's time to go. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Let's do this. Once we go up, there'll be no return. We're going. We are going. Oh boy. Yes. Lavish showed us the way. I have no hesitation. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I'm nervous that Rose is separate from us. I'm still worried she might die. Okay, good. Rose is back with us. I can't carry any more items because I stocked up on everything. Oh, perfect. I had a single spear for us that I picked up somewhere, so I just dropped that. And I got a... Spectral Flash. I think that's another attack item. Um, let's go. Is that the Signet Sphere? It was safe. That Signet Sphere is the last barrier to protect the world. If it is destroyed, there will be no other way but to deal with the god itself. I think we're going to have to. <laughs> I know I've said that a lot, but that's still how I feel. When Shauna crosses, crosses, when Shauna crosses to the moon that never sets, the god of destruction will be born. I won't let it. I'll finish it here. I think so too. Dad. I'll finish the world here. Reveal yourself. I don't hide. Hello. Our settlement is a peaceful one. We don't need weapons. A fight is not appropriate before the celebration of a birth. I won't let you. Don't come near me. I, I won't let you. Oh, there it goes. The arrow has already been released. To the finale of the world. Oh boy. The moon is falling. The, the world is ending. Does that mean that humans cannot revoke the will of the creator? 
Not yet. Don't give up. It's just the signet of the moon that's broken. Oh, the good music, yes. Yes. We can still struggle. The moon has not obtained Shauna yet. Let's go pursue Zeke. Is this a dead end? Is Kulon anywhere around? There he is! The wings of Savan! Take us to the moon! We're literally going to the moon? Oh wow. That was awesome. Sorry, I cannot fly anymore. Is Kulan dying? Oh no. Kulan. Everything is turning out just as Zeke wished. The seal of the moon was broken, and the terribly disastrous plan laid by Soa finally has started. Those virages are mere advance guards for the primary virage embryo. Ooh, this has gone very apocalyptic all of a sudden. It seems the birth of the God Destruction will only be a matter of time. Does the Divine Tree, which gave birth to all the species, want this as well? The world is not over yet. We can still fight to save it, can't we? After you've seen those, you can still say that. Let's go. 
The moon that never sets is waiting for us. Okay, how wild would it be if the random encounters here were all virages? Like, I hope that's not the case, but <laughs> that'd be kind of awesome. According to my save file, we're at the divine tree right now. Oh, oh boy. There's a sparkly thing over here. What is that? Phoenix plume. Cool. Come on, game. Don't glitch out on me now. Hello. It's like a chimera and a fox thingy. No, it's not a chimera. That's a manticore, isn't it? Yeah, manticore. And a cute cat. It is cute. I'll give you that much. Okay, so we're not fighting barrages in every single battle. Good. Good. And the dart gets a level up. Good job. That should improve our chances pretty well. Rose, what's this? It's a fruit of the divine tree. It seems to be dried up, though fruit. Did all the species really arise from such small things? Only the creator Soa knows that, so it's just a legend for us. But we are standing on the divine tree which supposedly was in the same legend. We'd better believe it. Yeah, at this point we don't have much room for skepticism. I guess so. Let's move on. We better hurry up or there will be no one to even tell the legend. Alright. I have no idea how long this area is, or how soon we'll be fighting a boss fight. So I'm just gonna keep my party how it is for now. I think this fruit was shed by some kind of fish. One of the fruits arisen from the divine tree. Yes, it was the same for us humans. The god of destruction will start the same way, won't it? Yes. Let's move on. Who? This is very tense. I guess we go this way. Oh, those are new. They're like angry caterpillar snakes. Slug. That does not look like a slug to me. Alrighty. Well, the normal enemies aren't too tough, at least. This stream, 
It seems like it is sending a vital force to the moon that never sets. It must be that the Divine Tree is getting ready to give birth to the God of Destruction. Then, if we take the stream in this... Yes, it'll carry us to the top. Let's hurry. Oh boy, I'm not ready. We, but we gotta go. That looks fun. Where's Kongle? What a stream. Oh, there he is. I guess he was just a little heavier. We got right up close. In addition, maybe because we let ourselves flow in the vital force, I feel revitalized, so it healed us. Good. It means that the power of the divine tree that gave birth to all species is still alive. In order to kill all the species, it revived the power. That's a bit ironic. I like that. Oh, hey, buddy. Landing succeeded. Ta. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, I was, I, was, I was looking at that little, um... It looks like a caterpillar moth. Or whatever those things are. The caterpillars, they're like real feathery. Oh, yeah, are we, are we talking about that thing? Yeah, okay. It looks like a bug. Did Kongle's landing awaken it? I think it was already awake, but now it's startled. We gotta get going. I want the sparkly thing. White silver dragon's armor. I know who that's for. Hold on. Yes, here you go. Awesome. Oh, what's this? Oh, does that heal us? Awesome. Cool. So, if I end up failing a lot and I need to grind for a few levels, I don't think that'll be the case. But just in case, I know where I can heal. I think I've got a pretty good setup for the bosses, though. Whoever they are. Another sparkly. This is one of the fruits, too. Yes, and all the species who were born in this way are about to be annihilated. Rose. Let's get going. I'm super scared that Rose is gonna die. Save point, good. Welp. One of those stupid manticores petrified Albert. Does that carry over? No, okay, I think he's good, but Miranda's scared. Huh, that's annoying, but we can deal with it. I just had a thought, though. If I go to Miranda and give her an item that stops her from being scared, does that have an effect? I don't know. Hold on. I'm gonna get in a fight and see if the fear goes away. The fear did not go away. And also Dart's afraid now too, so that's great. Um, I'm gonna go back to that, um, that little pool that healed us earlier. 
and also... Ooh, that's very nice. Actually, yeah, Miranda can have that. She needs that. And I'm paranoid that any of the upcoming bosses might have... They're probably going to have at least one instant death attack, but I'm worried there might be an instant death attack that affects the whole party. Sort of like an instant game over. So at least one of these guys needs to have something that prevents them from getting killed. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go heal now. I'll be right back. Oh, those are new. Hello. Like little demon frogs. Potbelly. That didn't work out very well. Sorry I'm not talking very much. Um, I'm planning my strategies as much as I can in my head for the upcoming fights. Fight? I don't know. Is there one boss? Is there gonna be like five bosses in a row? I don't know. But I was thinking that I might actually switch Miranda out for somebody else that can do a little more damage. Because I mean, I've got legend casks on two of my three party members, which should reduce a whole bunch of damage. And I also have a an inventory absolutely full of healing items. I'm just not sure who exactly we're going to be fighting against. Like, are they going to be weak to physical attacks? Are they going to be weak to magical attacks? Are they just going to have good defense all around? I don't know. And Albert can't attack, so he's just going to chill here. switch Miranda out for Meru because Meru is very fast, has good magical attack to go with uh, Albert's good physical attack. And Meru does have some healing magic if we need it in a pinch. And with Meru's attack speed, she'd, she'll be able to like use items all the time if she wants to. But can Mara's magic revive people? I don't know. I'm probably overthinking this. <laughs> I should just go into the fight and then see what happens, pretty much. If I die, I die. Let me just check their stats real quick. Um, I really am overthinking this. <laughs> Sorry. Here, just just hold that for now. There. Now Miranda's pretty fast too. Wait, that's not what I wanted to give her. I wanted to give her the the boots, the dancer's shoes. I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. She can't wear those. Never mind. 
Wait, no. Did I actually take them off Meru? No, I didn't. I gave her the... Wow. I'm so sorry. Okay, there. There. I know what I'm doing. I've played this game for almost 50 hours by now. No, I don't need that. Well, I mean, I could use that, but I want to save my inventory space for more useful things. Oh, those are new. Angry gorillas. Mountain Ape. Yes. Wow. Uh, I want that, but... No, sorry. We're this late in the game and we still only have 32 inventory spots. It's sad. Like, nobody thought to buy, like, a backpack or anything. Ooh, I've been recording for almost an hour. I mean, a lot of that was running around, but... I'm not gonna end this video just yet, I'm just gonna keep going, but I might end up cutting it into multiple parts if it gets super long. It'll be soon. Yes, but look at that. Oh, it's the caterpillar again. Is that the caterpillar from back there? Um, just a question, but is that the Virage embryo? It's a miracle. There was an unhatched fruit left over. It's a subspecies of a new insect. It was just born and it's coming after us. It's got weird tentacles. Well, I guess it's not the Viraj embryo then. That's good. How big is it? Eh, pretty big. Caterpillar. That's just what we're gonna call it. Alright then. Yes! Tell us! Go! Tell us! Oh, what are you doing? 
Okay, he's stunned. We can deal with stunned. Stunned is fine. I don't like how its little tail feelers are flesh colored. They look like tongues. <laughs> Dark got up from being stunned just to be stunned again. Poor guy. I guess the caterpillar is pretty smart. It knows Dark can do the most damage to it. Yeah, see, like, Miranda is a super useful healer, but she can barely do any damage. I mean, I know her magic attacks do more damage, but... I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to heal Albert is what I'm going to do. Because he's taking some damage. He keeps going after Dart. It's sad. Poor guy. Actually, how much damage does does your magic do? Ooh. Wait, hold up. Is that a... I'm not going to use this. I just want to see what it targets. Okay, it targets the enemy, but it says all HP. So does it, does it attack the enemy and also heal? Because that'd be kind of awesome. I just want to see how much damage her magic does. Okay, that's that's okay. Again, not great, but she's not really meant to be a damage dealer in the first place, so... Oh, is it? It's a. It's evolving. Oh no. It's a Kakuna now. We have to stop it before it becomes a bee drill. Then we'll be in trouble. Will this unstun Dart? Okay, it does. Good. Slowly adding more points to the Miranda should be in the party column. Yes. Wow.
I think the pupa's attacking it, I didn't really expect it to. And that's going to hatch, isn't it? Yep, here it comes. So what is it? Giant butterfly, giant moth. Oh. Is it like a butterfly genie thing? It's actually very pretty. And that's probably poison, isn't it? I don't know if that's, um... He's dispirited now, right? Imago. Cool. Oh, it's like Death Dimension. Ouch. It missed, though. Yay. That's probably a magic attack, so... Everyone's depressed now. So sad. I like how this thing was just born. It already knows how to do all these cool attacks. Yeah, I did that way too early. Can't combat. Oops. Well, crap. Okay, it was Albert I gave the talisman to. I was trying to think. Because Miranda has the mage ring. Okay, I didn't want to use any of these yet, but I guess I have to. Okay, good. Yes. Haha. -ha. Angry at us anyway, caterpillar friend. Oh, good, it's on yellow. I wasn't sure how much health this thing had. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You can keep doing that, that's fine.
Uh, no, poor Miranda's dispirited. a few more turns then. Just gotta keep my boys on the offense. Don't kill her, please. Ah, of course. Of course. Why not? All right, Albert. At least she's not dispirited anymore. Or at least she shouldn't be. We should be almost done. We aren't even on the main boss fights yet. They're just trying to, to wear us down with this one. Like, this fight literally came out of nowhere. As far as I can tell, it has no relevance to the story. Okay, thank you, Miranda. Thank you. At least we get some good experience from it, probably. Oh, yeah. Ooh, which one of these do I want? Probably the Healing Rain. Okay, I actually can have two, I think. Yeah. And Albert's gonna level up, probably. Yep, there he goes. Um, I don't know if anyone else will. Maybe Miranda? Yeah, Miranda. Probably not Dart. Oh, Congo, finally. Um, yes, I want the healing rain. We can dump. Oh, we can dump this. I'm not gonna use that. Well then, we just made an entire species extinct. We barely defeated it. Let's go, we're almost at the moon. Well, that was lovely, thanks. I guess we keep going. Oh, there's the moon. Moon that never sets. It's spreading poison all over the world. In order to stop the poison, we have to reach the core of the moon before it is too late. Unless Shauna and the core, as Rose says, are we wedded, the god of destruction won't be born, right? It's a dilemma for us because we want to take Shauna back. If we don't meet Shauna and we can destroy only the core of the moon, the world will be saved. But Zeke is here for sure with Shauna. That is the only chance to save her. We will save both the world and Shauna. Fate is not in the hands of the creator, it's in our hands. We won't let Soa decide the fate of the world. That goes for Shauna's fate as well. We will decide our own fate. Well, I hope you're right, Dart. I'm not I'm not optimistic though. <laughs> 